So once the instrument is in operate mode, uh, you want to make sure that your voltages are up and ready to go and that your temperatures are set appropriately. So the first value here under the ES and source tab, you want the capillary to be at around 3 kilovolts. Uh, the, the, the cone is variable, but 15 to 30 is generally where you're going to leave this cone voltage at. The hex and aperture and hex 2 can all stay static, 0.1, 0, and 0. And the source temperature you want to be at around the boiling point of the solvent that you're using. For example, if you're using water, set it to around 100 degrees. The desalvation temperature you want uh, about 100 degrees above the source temperature. So for example, using water again, you would have this set to about 200 degrees. Over on the left hand side, you can see what temperature is currently at and also what voltages the capillary and cone are currently set at. The next tab is the only other important tab, the analyzer. Uh, this first th set of three numbers here will dictate the resolution that you get out of the first quadruple. So if you want to increase or decrease those, you can go up to around 17.5 at a maximum resolution on, the, on this particular instrument, or as low as 5. It largely depends on what kind of sensitivity you want and what kind of resolution you want. On this instrument, uh, you can expect at least unity resolution at around a resolution of 15 in the first quadruple on your basic full scan mode. So generally I leave these at 15, 15, and an ion energy of 1. Uh, the entrance, collision, and exit for a regular full scan uh, can stay at 42 and 40. Obviously, if you're doing a MSMS, you will increase this number here, this value here, as you want to increase fragmentation. The LM, HM, and ion energy 2 are for the actually the third quadruple in the system. So this will dictate what kind of MSMS resolution you have. If you want to let your fragments just pass through unhindered, you can drop this down. But if you want higher, higher resolution on your fragment ions, you'll want to increase this. And generally, I have ion energy here set to 3. The multiplier is the detector. Uh, in this case, and in most cases, I have it set to a slightly lower voltage of about 250. Uh, and that's largely to get rid of solvent aggregates. However, if you're doing uh, MSMS modes, you may want to increase this as high as 650, 750, but be aware that your noise will also increase. And once you have all those settings punched in, make sure you hit save and you're good to go.